I have to admit that when text-based editing was announced for Premiere Pro last month, I thought it was going to be just another gimmicky AI feature, trying to cash in on everyone wanting more AI in their lives right now. But after trying it out, oh my God, it saves me so much time. If you're on Premiere Pro 2023.4 or later, and you're working with videos that have people talking in them, be that for professional interviews, or like in my case, just your sad little self talking to a camera for YouTube videos, this is a feature you absolutely need to check out. But don't worry, you can just sit back a few minutes and I'll give you a quick overview of what text-based editing is, how it works, and why I think it might just change your video editing life. Text-based editing essentially creates searchable text transcripts for your source video files and you can then whip together a rough edit simply by copying and pasting the text directly from the transcript to your timeline. Here's a clip that I filmed for a TikTok reel. It's of me just talking to the camera and of course it contains tons of bad English, mispronunciation and a lot, a lot of me repeating the same sentence over and over until I felt I got it right. Usually I drop the entire clip onto my timeline and then troll through to find all of the pieces I want to keep and then cut them out, delete the rest and then clean up the transitions between them. But that's quite a lot of effort and takes a long time. So let's have a look at how this works using the new text-based editing feature. When you create a new project in Premiere Pro 2023.4 or later, you can simply enable automatic transcriptions when you import your source files and Adobe Sensei AI will automatically generate a transcript for you. Next, make sure that you have the text panel open within Premiere Pro, which is where you will be able to see and work with your transcripts. Double clicking any source file in your project panel will open the transcript for the file, or if you haven't created one, give the option to transcribe source to generate one on the fly. Now let's create our rough edit using text-based editing. Simply create a new empty sequence or open an existing one and position the timeline cursor where you want to start inserting media. Make sure that you double click on the source video file in your project panel that you want to use to bring up the source transcript for that file. Then just select the text that you want to insert. In my case, I'm going to skip right over all of my bad takes and hit the insert button. This will extract that clip and insert it into your timeline. And it's that simple. This allows me to now pick out all of the parts of the video that I want to use and skip all of my bad English, my outtakes, my repetitions without actually having to scrub through the clip or chopping it up manually on my timeline. You can also double click any other clip in your project panel at any point in time and insert snippets from those onto the same timeline. This is super useful if you're doing interviews or you're working with a lot of different video files or different camera angles. The cool thing is that this also works if you film B-roll and just quickly say what you're filming while you're filming it. So you're essentially creating voice markers in your videos that you can then use to pick out the footage parts that you actually want using text-based editing. Let's continue this process with the rest of the script until we've inserted all of the snippets that we wanted on our timeline. Once you've picked all of the pieces that you want, simply click into your timeline. The text panel will switch now to show your sequence transcript. And in here, you can now again, copy and paste text around and that will automatically update and rearrange the clips on your timeline. Yes, you will still have to go through your timeline and clean up any edits and transitions that might not align too well since the process is a little rough. And that is all there is to it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more, all comments, questions or suggestions down in the video description. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.